Myers live in Big Bear this morning where she's, uh, I, I had hoped to see you in fluffy white snow, but the, it doesn't seem to be the case. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Good morning. No, not yet. The snow, we're expecting it to hit this area a little later on this afternoon, but we are starting to see some rain and some strong winds. I'll go ahead and step out of the way. You can see it is starting to come down here in the trees blowing in the wind. We are told you could see gusts up to 60 to 70 miles per hour in the mountain areas. Now there are several inches of rain are possible in the mountain areas and there is a chance for thunderstorms as well. So we could see some already heavy rainfall. There's also a flood watch and flash flood watch in effect for this area until tomorrow morning. A winter storm warning will be in effect from 10 a.m. today until 4 p.m. Wednesday for the San Bernardino County and Riverside County mountains. So that means we could start to see heavy snow and strong winds. Winds are are expected to be about 40 to 50 miles per hour with gusts reaching that 70 mile per hour, maybe even a little bit stronger. And then take a look at this, this video from Mammoth where they're already seeing the snow come down. We'll see it in this area a little later. One to six inches of snow or even more is expected between 6,000 and 7,000 feet, six to 12 inches between 7,000 and 8,000 feet. And above 8,000 feet, we could see two to three feet of snow once it starts coming down. Now, if you are in the mountain areas, you could have some difficult driving conditions due to reduced visibility. There was fog on our way here. Uh, once the snow starts to come, we could see blowing snow. So be careful if you have to commute. We actually spoke with one woman this morning who said boulders fell down right in front of her vehicle on the 330. So you are going to want to give yourself extra time. It's a good idea to have winter wipers, snow tires, chains, warm clothing, gloves, and a shovel just in case. Uh, but folks up here, they're looking forward to this. We spoke with one resident who says the weather will help local businesses out. Extremely. I mean, we, we hope to even open the slopes a little earlier if we get a good enough amount of snow. We're blowing snow right now, so it's going to be fantastic. We hope for a great season. Now, right now, the resorts are not open just yet. They're hoping to be able to open later on this month, early December. But with this snow, that could maybe help expedite that a little quicker, get those slopes ready for skiers and boarders. As for the roads right now, there are no restrictions, but that could change later on. So you should have those chains with you if you're headed up to the mountains. Reporting live here in Big Bear, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you both in Hollywood. All right, Erin, thank you for that. Today is election day and the polls opened one hour ago. The candidates will cast their votes this morning along with those who've yet to mail in or drop off their ballots. KTLA's Eric Spillman in the newsroom with the latest on all that for us. Eric, good morning. Morning, Jessica. The race for LA mayor is the one that's getting a lot of attention locally. Congresswoman Karen Bass will cast her ballot at the Baldwin Hills Crenshaw Plaza in about a half an hour. Developer Rick Caruso was scheduled to vote this afternoon in Boyle Heights. Last night, each of them made their final pitch to voters. Oh, God! 